Alright, so it's only been about 12 hours since the new Cyclopean Guard event dropped on both sides of the game. And I'm definitely still trying to figure out like the best approach to take, the best units to use, you know, to uh, complete all the missions and get all the rewards. But over these last 12 hours, I have been getting a lot of questions from people about whether I have any advice or tips that could help them have a little bit more success in this event. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick overview of my general strategy for taking on these stages. And uh, so far, it's been it's been going pretty well. So we'll use the versus AGL stage as an example uh, to start. So as you can see, we have two main tech attackers in the LR Giant Ape Vegeta and the tech Majin Vegeta who are attack all units. And then the rest of the team is literally just support units. So we got the AGL Turles, the Kid Buu, as well as the second form cell just here for their support passives. And uh, the leaders will just be whoever can provide the biggest boost to your main attackers, right? And then for the support items, we have two nuking items. The first one is the Takoyaki, and the second one is the uh, Chi Lai, but it doesn't really matter which ones you bring. You could go for uh, this one right here. You can go for this one. And also the Lemo right here is also an option. So it's up to you, but I'm gonna go for these two. And without further ado, let's jump in here and see how it goes. Okay, so luckily our attack all units are split up, which is awesome. And we should be able to get through the first couple of phases with no issues whatsoever. Um, yeah, Majin Vegeta, or sorry, the uh, Giant Ape Vegeta will definitely take care of this run. And then the Majin Vegeta should be able to take care of the second phase as well. Now, when we get to the third, fourth, and fifth phases, that's when things get a little bit more tricky because the Cyclopean Guards start getting a lot of defense, or rather, a lot of HP, right? They get uh, really hard to kill. So uh, I know the Giant Ape Vegeta will definitely be able to handle them, but it's the Majin Vegeta that I'm a little bit more concerned about. So. Yeah, like I said, this should be no issues. His attack stat's not going to be super high, but these guys are super weak. So I think he should still be able to one-shot them here. Let's see, yeah, 1.3 mil. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. But as you can see... Wait, hold on. Oh, they're still alive! That's my bad. That's a miscalculation on my end. The lucky thing is we do have multiple turns to uh, take care of these guys. So... I guess Giant Ape Vegeta will once again, <laughs> will once again take them out. Um, but yeah, I was actually expecting him to do a little bit more. But I guess the the main issue was that on that rotation, we didn't have any supports. If we had like one support, if we had the second form cell or if we had like the uh, HL Turles, then we should have been able to uh, clear all of them, but we didn't have that. So... I guess it's not a huge surprise. Yeah, the difference in firepower between these two guys is is massive, right? 7.2 mil versus 1.3 mil. To be fair, we have two supports, but once again, this guy is my main attacker. He is the main guy that I'm hoping to get on the final phase, uh, because the final phase we only have one turn, so he can't really go between two rotations. Okay, so we got the kid boost support here, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna try to pop a Takoyaki, just to get a few orbs here. It's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. That's it. That should give us a decent boost. And let's see if Majin Vegeta now, with the support and also some orbs from the Takoyaki, can take out these guys. 2.2 mil. 2.2 mil. And it looks like we are still a little bit short, guys. We're still a little bit short. I probably should have popped the second one or reset the game. Oh, in case you guys didn't know, um, you can reset the game and pop the item again, and it will give you a different result. So let's say you only changed like five orbs on the first try. Reset the game, restart the game, pop it again, and sometimes you can get a full board, right? So it's worth resetting if you get a bad result from your nuking item. Obviously, right now, it's not really necessary, but... Uh, it's definitely an option. It's definitely an option. So here we go. Uh, once again, <laughs> Giant Ape Vegeta carrying Majin Vegeta. But Majin Vegeta will have his turn. 
that's for sure, especially if we really need him on that last phase. I hope not though. I hope we get to use the Giant Egg Vegeta. Okay, so this is the fourth phase. Yes, this is the fourth phase. I'm gonna go for another Takoyaki. And that's not bad. That's actually a decent amount of orbs right there. And let's see what he can do here. Two supports this time. Should be getting over three mil attack. 3.2 to be exact. Okay, and oh man, it's gonna be close. We got the additional super. Okay, so this, this is kind of what I was talking about before. Like, you still need some luck. You still need some RNG, even with the right units, even with the right setup. You still gotta get lucky. So, now we have the uh, Giant Ape Vegeta. We have two nuking items left, so let's pop one. Let's go for the second one and see if we get a good result. If we don't... Uh... I don't feel great about this, so what I'm gonna do is just quickly reset the game and let's go for a couple more Chilis and see if we can get a better turnout. That's better, that's good. Let's do one more. Come on. There we go, we got a full board. That's gonna be a really nice super. And this will guarantee, guarantee that we clear this stage and get all the missions done. Here we go. We're getting super, doesn't matter. Um, I've noticed that these guys don't hit very hard, so you don't have to really worry about like bringing a tank or anything like that. And we're getting 12 mil attack. Obviously, a big credit to the Chilai item. And uh, yeah, these guys stand no chance. <laughs> these guys stand absolutely no chance. So there you go, guys. That is kind of the general strategy that I'm using for every single stage. I still haven't completed all of them because you know, I'm still waiting for like good RNG on some of those runs, but I know that with this strategy, with this general setup, you'll be able to beat any of the stages. It's just that if you don't have the attack all units, then it's going to be much more difficult, right? In that case, then you'll want to uh, do something like bring a lot of units that have multiple supers, right? Like the LR Final Form Cooler, for example, or um, yeah, I guess that's kind of your best bet. That's kind of your best bet. This event is not my favorite, I gotta say, but this is kind of what I've been using, uh, what I've been doing for my run so far. So I'll give you guys a look at all of the teams I'm using for each different type. So versus SDR, I got this team right here, which is uh, obviously centered around the LR Maja Vegeta and the LR Nappa and Vegeta. And then the items are the same thing, two nuking items. And then for versus AGL is the team we just saw. And then for versus Int, I'm focusing my attacks on the uh, Fizz Broly, the LR Cell, as well as the new uh, Fizz Raditz. And for the Fizz Broly, as you can see, he is reversed. And the reason we do that is because um, when he's not reversed, when he's Token Awakened, he transforms after four turns, which is not great because he stops attacking all. So if you want to keep him attacking all, then you want him to be in his reverse state, right? And then versus Fizz, we have this team right here, and this is by far the easiest uh, one of all five, in my opinion, because STR Broly is a freaking monster. Okay, he's gonna carry you. In fact, you wanna bring two STR Brolys if you can. And let me see if I can find one here. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, we got two STR Brolys, and then uh, the you know STR Cooler will also do very well because of all those supers. And the rest of the team, once again, is just all support units. All support units. Um, versus tech, that's going to be the hardest one, in my opinion, because you don't have like a really great attack all unit for extreme or super int. Uh, the only one we have actually is this Raditz, and he doesn't hit the hardest. He doesn't hit the hardest. So this one is definitely, in my opinion, the hardest one, but it's still definitely doable. And I guess before we go, let's just do one more run here for an example. So I'm going to do the versus Fizz stage. And this should be very, very quick just because Broly is... He is the best, man. Broly is the best attack all unit in the game still to this day. I think, uh, you know, there's some really good attack all units now that can contend with him. But for events like this, for world tournament and stuff like that, I mean, Broly's still the king. 
Broly is still the king. So here we go, Broly doing his thing. He should take care of these guys with no issues. And uh, the only time that we might actually have a bit of a problem is on the last phase. But even then, I mean, you might not need an item because he gets that guaranteed second super, right? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so Broly back once again. Gonna do his thing, just sit back and relax and uh, enjoy the show, you know? So we're getting supered. Shouldn't really do much, like double digits most likely. Uh, there we go, 72. Uh, getting supered again. <laughs> it's kind of annoying that they super you because, like I said, they don't really do much. It's just really more of a, a waste of time. But, okay, they can try, they can try. There we go, doing eight to 11 mil damage per hit. That is the second phase. Moving on to the third phase, it should be a very, very similar situation. Here we go, and we have LR Cooler to back us up just in case. Just in case um, Broly isn't able to clear everyone, but I would be very surprised if the second super doesn't clear the entire enemy field. But we'll see. Okay, so yeah, first super is definitely not enough, but they're still close to dead. They're still down to about 20% HP, right? So this second guaranteed super does the job. No problem. Yep, there we go. And then we're moving on to phase four. And phase four is against my Broly, who's rainbowed. The friend is only 55%. So my rainbowed Broly. Oh, crap. <laughs> I messed up there, guys. Oh, never mind. Okay, we can just do this. We can just do this. I was going to reset the game just to like get him a super, but I just realized we can get some key from the link with the Vegito. But it worked out. 2.8 mil. First super should be enough. If not, though, the second super will definitely get it done. And uh, unfortunately, we are using the friend Broly for the last phase where we only have one turn. But if we just, you know, get some orbs with the nuking items, then the friend Broly will be fine too. Okay, so. Uh, actually, let me think. Because if we give him nuking items, then he's actually gonna use the 18 key super which we don't want so in this case I think we're just gonna go for this and uh, hope that it's enough right we'll see it might not be but I think with a second super it'll still do enough damage especially with the kid boost support yeah 2.5 mil I think it should be enough I think it should be enough so that's one thing that I didn't really consider oh it's never mind <laughs> it's it's way more than enough He's good. One thing that I didn't really consider actually is the fact that some of these LRs, um, you know, only attack all on the 12 key. Like for example, the LR Nappa and Vegeta, uh, for example, the Broly here, the uh, Fizz Cell is the same thing. So in that case, you do have to be a little bit careful about how many orbs you give them, because if you give them too many orbs for an 18 key super, then they're not going to help you too much if they're popping their you know, single target super, right? So keep that in mind. But there you go, that was the STR stage, super, or rather versus Fizz stage, super, super simple. And uh, I'm thinking maybe we do one more just to show you guys that like it does in fact work. Let's do the versus int stage, there we go. And for the versus int stage, we have, let's see, this team prepared. And I actually haven't run this team yet, but it's worth a shot for sure. So let me see if I can find just like an extreme lead. Uh, maybe a... No, we don't have any Frieza's. Um, you know what? Never mind. Let's uh, finish off on the versus STR stage instead because we can't find a leader for the other team right now. So for this stage, we're using the LR Maja Majita and the LR Nappa and Majita as our main attackers. And uh, the friend is another Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but obviously you can do a second Majin Vegeta or a second Nappa and Vegeta. That's totally up to you. And uh, the items are the same as always. So let's jump in here, hopefully get our third clear of the video. Uh, we do seem to have both the Majin Vegeta and the Nappa and Vegeta on the first rotation, which is not what we want. So let's take this guy out and 
Nappa and Vegeta will definitely get things done here. Now, this team is actually a little bit of a problem because the Nappa and Vegeta get their 18 key super, or rather their attack all super, on the 12 key, whereas Majin Vegeta get down the 18 key. So they have like opposing problems. For the Majin Vegeta, sometimes um, it might be challenging to get the 18 key super. That's where the nuking items, the orb changing items come into play. Whereas for the Nappa and Vegeta, um, sometimes they get too much key, right? So you gotta kind of play that balancing act. And uh, unfortunately for the Nappa and Vegeta, you can't use the nuking items for them because if you use a nuking item, they do get more attack, but they get too much key as well. So yeah, this one might be a bit trickier. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to beat it on the first attempt. I think we should be okay, but I'm not like 100% confident. Uh, by the way, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is also good because of his ability to do multiple supers. But as you can see, he's very inconsistent, right? So if you're using attack or uh, multiple attack units like this, you can definitely still beat the stages. It's just going to take a lot more attempts, unfortunately. So here we go. That's a still 12k super. Perfect. We'll take these guys out. We'll move on to the third phase. And I'll probably have to pop a chi light item for the Majin Vegeta, which is fine. You know, we still have four items in total, so uh, we can afford to use one for the third phase. Or maybe we'll get lucky, we get a lot of AGL orbs. That's also a possibility. Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, no, we do not get lucky. So we're gonna need quite a few orbs to change here. Uh, luckily we get that, there we go, that's a 24k super right there for the Majin Vegeta. He's gonna take these guys out with no issues whatsoever. Yep, 5.3 mil, that's a one shot for sure. And if we can get this going for the last phase as well, then we're good to go. My only concern is that maybe, um, you know, oh crap, hold on. We can only give one orb to these guys. We can only afford to give one orb. Yeah, my only concern is that maybe the Nappa and Vegeta won't be able to kill all the guards here. And in that case, we'll have to go back to the Majin Vegeta. And then, for the last phase, we'll have to come back to the Nappa and Vegeta, which is not great. So maybe these guys can get an additional here. That would actually make me really happy. Of course they don't. <laughs> of course they don't. So... Yeah, we um, might be a little screwed here. We might be a little screwed here. Unless we get really lucky and we get the additional super on the last turn. Because uh, I really don't think that Nappa and Vegeta can clear the final phase with one super attack. <sighs> so yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. I'll worry about that later though. I mean, if we could like somehow get a token attack, that would also work, but unfortunately, there's not enough turns to get a token attack. So I think this might be a failed run, guys. This might be a failed run. There's a pretty good chance that, uh, you know, once we get to the last phase, we'll like get them to about half dead, and a second super would have definitely done the job. But we just don't have that available to us, so... Yeah, okay. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We're trying we're trying our best, right? We're trying our best. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, then we'll just run it again until we get lucky with the RNG or unless until we get LR Majin Vegeta in the the last turn. Or maybe we'll bring a second Majin Vegeta. That could also work. Okay, additional super, please. Additional super. Damn it! So close. So close. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, it's just going to take a few more runs. We just need to get a little bit better RNG for the rotations and maybe some additionals. But uh, that is basically what I'm doing right now with this event, having some pretty good success. The only one I'm concerned about is, once again, the Int team because we don't have really any 
good attack all int units. Um, I think, you know, if I get lucky with like the LR Vegeta additionals and like the LR Broly additionals, we can still get it done, but it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully, watching this has helped you at least, uh, you know, have a little bit more success in your runs, uh, at least get you through a few more stages, get you a couple of stones, and uh, yeah, best of luck guys. That's gonna do it, that's all I gotta say, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content, and until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.